Hey guys, it's Ari with another YC Weekly. You know, I guess you're wondering why my face looks like this today. It's because I'm ready for all the music festivals coming up. Are you? Nothing beats seeing your favorite artist live. It's a very intimate experience. You either feel connected on some crazy, transcendental level, or you just realize that they're human. Like me, for instance. I'm just waiting for Panorama to whip around so I can go see my love, Frank Ocean. Oh my god. <laughs> So we got Frank in July, and then Afropunk in August. Like, oh my goodness, this summer's gonna be so lit. I'm so excited. You know, you can either get like me, cause I know I'm about to be having fun, or you could try to go that extra mile, go to Bonnaroo, which is in Tennessee. You could either bring a tent or whip around in an RV. Check out Electric Forest, the giant acid trip in Michigan. I kinda wanna go there. Or you can go all out. Spend your life savings, sell your kidneys, and sacrifice your firstborn for tickets to Tomorrowland, the largest music festival in the freaking world. Preparing yourself for a festival shouldn't be as hard as actually putting one together, so let's go over some basic tips. Like, number one, don't forget your tickets, but don't bring your wallet. You're gonna need your tickets for obvious reasons, but the wallet is just sort of like a necessary weight that can easily be stolen. So what I would do is, I would stash some extra bills, just like, you know, some pockets, like some crevices, somewhere, because you're gonna need money. Number two, establish a meeting place with your friends. It is too easy to get lost in crowded places and your phone doesn't have nine lives, which brings us to number three, investing in a solar charger. It's not a necessity, but it's definitely helpful when there's no place to charge your phone. Number four, you are grown. There is no reason for you to feel gross or be stank. So, bring deodorant, mints, and baby wipes for various reasons. Number five, please, please bring water. This is super duper important as festivals are long, exerts so much energy, and they all go down under the summer sun. Side note, if you're like me and get easily overwhelmed, I'd pack some earplugs to dumb down the noise. Like, trust me, you'd still be able to hear most of everything, just less intensely. That's it for this week. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and Instagram, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Of course, there are festivals that I did miss. We just don't have time to mention them all. So comment down below which ones are your favorite, musical or otherwise.